Sky 4 Blend Blender tutorial today I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic racing AI in Blender. First things first, this tutorial is going to be unscripted so I don't have everything laid out exactly how I want to do it so we'll see how that goes. So the first thing we're going to do is with our main cube selected, we're going to enter edit mode and scale it on the Y axis, uh, let's do 1.5 just to make it a little longer so we know sort of uh, which direction it's facing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the front four vertices. I use the B key to get the rubber band select and hit alternate M to merge and we're going to merge at center. So now that makes that cube into an arrow. Then we're going to switch from Blender Render to Blender Game, stretch up the bottom window and switch it to the logic editor. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an always sensor and add a motion actuator and just an AND controller and you can just wire this straight across and the motion actuator is just going to make the cube move forward like so. Okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the cube hit shift S cursor to select it just to make sure the cursor is center on the cube hit shift A add an empty then drag it to the tip of the cube and hit our Z45 that will rotate the empty to a 45 degree angle uh, with the cube. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the empty, shift select the cube, hit control P, set parent to object, and then we're going to select the empty again, stretch out this side window, go to the physics tab and change it to a sensor. We're then going to add two sensors to the empty. They're both going to be radar sensors, and uh, we can leave the property field blank. So the next thing we need to do is we need to show the radar sensor which axis we want to look on. And right now this empty does not show us which axis is which. So to change that we're going to go to the object tab here, and scroll down to display, and we're going to choose axis. So the next thing we're going to do is let's make this our left sensor, so I'm going to name this sensor left, and since it's left we will use the Y axis. I'm going to choose a small angle of about 5 and maybe a distance of 2. So then I'm going to turn on pulse mode and add another sensor. This will be another radar sensor. I'm going to name this one right and we're going to look on the positive X axis angle of let's do 5 and distance of 2 so it's exactly the same. Now if we go to game and do show physics visualization and hit P oh, I'm sorry these sensors actually need to be wired up to something so just add an AND controller and wire them both into the AND controller for now. Hit P. So now you can see how far out the rays go and I don't think that's going to be far enough. So let's extend these out to Let's do 6. So do that on both of them, change the distance to 6. Oh. Hit play. Okay, yes, that will be good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the empty, shift select our cube. We're going to delete the AND sensor that's on the empty, and we're going to add two, and we're going to add two AND sensors. So we can wire these two sensors straight across into the controllers. Then on the cube, we're going to add two more motion actuators. So the first one's going to be for our turn left. So we're going to want to only turn left on the Z axis. So we'll just turn on, uh, switch the local switch to uh, global. So I'm going to go to negative 5, I believe it is. And we're going to add another motion actuator and wire the right sensor into this motion actuator and we'll turn switch it to global and go to a positive of 5. So it still should not turn yet. So next what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift A, add mesh, I'll add a cube for our wall. We'll just move it off to slightly to the right of our player, go to the physics tab and turn on actor. So if we hit play, our player sees the cube and turns. He may turn a bit quick, but that's okay. 
this so next what we're going to do is we're going to edit, enter edit mode for this wall I'm going to scale it down to make it a little bit skinnier and then I'm going to scale it up on the Y axis go to object mode and now we will build our uh, racetrack so the problem with this very simple AI is it has problems with corners and that is because whenever it sees array in one direction it's telling it to turn the opposite way so if it sees something to its left it will turn to the right so if it sees something with both of the rays or if it hits a wall straight on it's gonna try to turn both ways at the same time and they just cancel each other out so that means for this AI the track pieces need to be at a 45 like that which may not be a problem so we're then going to just duplicate these around to make a sort of track and I'm just gonna duplicate these guys and this is I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a really simple sort of oval really simply simple sloppy oval so if we hit play we can see our player will actually find his way all the way around the racetrack and of course this is a bit slow so let's speed this guy up so select our cube and we'll select our first motion actuator we'll just up the speed a bit So now you can see he goes around and one last thing we can turn off the physics visualization so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.